Welcome back guys to another video. It's an exciting day today because every Tuesday I post any type of crazy stories. So if you guys are interested in this type of content, sure to subscribe to this channel because every Tuesday I post these type of stories. Now, if you guys wanna share your crazy stories, it can be literally whatever you want. Feel free to email me so you guys can send me your scary stories or you guys can text me through Instagram or on TikTok wherever you guys feel more comfortable with um, and do keep in mind guys that everything that you guys tell me about like all these crazy stories just know that you will be anonymous and if you end up using names and these uh, stories that you're telling me they will also be anonymous too they i will be changing the names so let's get started with the first story what i'm gonna be doing is pretty much just brushing my hair doing kind of skincare type of deal so let's get to the first story so this story is called the hitchhiker that never was um it's about an old man who was driving back home from a family event he was driving peacefully until there was this young girl in the side of the road who was flagging him down with her sweater so keep that in mind he was like you know what he slows down for her he rolls down the window and he asks this young lady how um how he could help of course she asked him that if she can have a ride to her grandma's house he said yeah sure he had he didn't mind taking her for a ride so he ended up taking her Next thing you know guys they were having a real nice conversation this young girl started to talk about her old times you know they were just having a real nice conversation the old man started to talk about his great stories as well he started to talk to her about his old days too and what he missed and things like that the whole way that he was driving they were having such a lovely conversation the old man approaches the grandma's house he stops and of course uh, they say goodbye to each other he watches her go inside the grandmother's house the the young lady goes to the house uh he watches her leave and then he ends up leaving as well the next day comes and he's he wakes up early in the morning and he's like you know what i need to go get some milk eggs newspaper and all of that so when he gets inside his car he realizes that the young lady's sweater was in the car uh she had left it there so what he did, he goes back to the grandmother's house. He knocks and the grandmother opens the door and he explains why he's there. He's like, you you know, your granddaughter left her, left her sweater in my car. The grandmother stares at him and she's like, no. She goes, I think you have the wrong address. And he's like, no, I don't think so. She's And she stares at him and she starts to tell him my granddaughter died many many years ago and this is how the story ends let's move on to the second story which is called the new this new old house so one day a young couple bought this old house right um as they bought it the the new couple were re pretty much remodeling the inside of the house the boyfriend of this girl was constructing the the whole entire kitchen to make it into a master's bedroom while the girlfriend's duty was to remove all the old walls from this house she said that she found it oddly satisfying removing and peeling off the walls right so as she was doing it you know she said that it was oddly satisfying like it was cool it felt like skin that she was pe peeling off so as she did that as she was doing that she came across every corner of the walls that she had peeled off she said that in in each corner there were names and dates of these people she said that the curiosity got the best of her and she searched up on the internet um, the name of these people and the dates turns out guys there are actually missing people that were written in these walls so she ended up searching up every other name that she found in each corner and turns out they were all missing people so what she did the next day not the yeah the next day she woke up super early and she called the police she explained to them 
and they ended up saying that this was a crime she overheard the investigators say that okay this is like a criminal type of thing and they came up to her and they asked her so where did you leave all the wallpaper that you removed and i'm guessing she told them where and they were like okay they go because the wallpaper that you were removing it was not wallpaper it was actually the skin of the people that were missing that's what they told her that's how the story ends it ends by the cops telling her that the the stuff that she was removing from the walls it turned out to be the missing people's finding out that yeah it wasn't wallpaper all this long it was skin that she was removing which is why she said that it felt like skin but you know it's not gonna cross someone's mind to be like oh, okay yeah like this is skin no but that's freaky okay guys um keep in mind that this is a very short story so it's gonna finish quick but this one is called there's someone under my bed so i'm gonna take off my hairs real quick all right so let's get to it there's this family who are already getting ready for bed you know because the next because the kids the next day have to go to school the dad needs to go to work and the mom has to go to work as well so they're getting the kids ready for bed and the dad's like you know what i'm gonna he goes to the daughter first and he kisses he tucks her in bed he kisses her good night the next thing you know he goes to his other daughter and tucks her to bed and kisses her goodnight. So now that he knows that those two are ready for bed, he goes to his son. And as he's tucking him to bed, his son tells him, Dad, can you check under my bed to see if there's any monsters? The dad doesn't want to argue with him. The dad doesn't want to tell him, like, there's nothing. Because you know how parents are, right? Like, oh, no, it's nothing. Don't worry about it so the father doesn't argue and he checks under the bed my face is done by the way he checks under the bed next thing you know as he looks under the bed he sees someone that looks exactly like his son he freaks out grabs his son tells his wife and his two daughters and they leave the house and that's how the story ends that is all for today's video that is what i did for my skincare kind of routine um i just added this new thing if you guys like these type of videos make sure you guys give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and make sure to turn on click that bell notification on just so you guys can know every time i post i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this type of content make sure to su subscribe because every tuesday i will be posting these this type of content if you guys want to share your crazy stories it can be whatever you want make sure to message me on instagram tiktok or email me th in this address and let me know your craziest stories and yes guys um you guys are gonna be you will be anonymous and if you have names in there they will also be anonymous i love you guys and i will see you guys on the next